Well, hello everyone and welcome to a very, very special edition of The Kitchen Table. As you can see, uh, there's a little bit of extra equipment in the kitchen this evening and that is because we are waiting for our guest. And our guest this evening is a man that needs no introduction. It's Andrea Adamo, the boss of Hyundai. He is coming not just to sit and talk at the kitchen table, he's coming to cook in the kitchen. When you talked about carbonara and you said all you want is eggs, I thought, what about the cream? Because if you make a, <laughs> you make a British carbonara, ah, yeah. you make or it a German with, one, or a German one, you make it with cream, but not an Italian one. No, cream and wine. Why? Why no white wine? It's very easy the Italian carbonara, and also in Italy there are big discussions yeah. uh, if you have to put onions, uh, oil, not oil, and this and that. Uh, but if you go in a proper restaurant in Rome and this area, you may have the proper one, and then people add them. Yeah. Is it a simple flavor? Yeah, simple flavor. The meat, yeah, the, uh, meat the pork meat. meat yeah, yeah. Take care, not punch it. Yes, you can be killed if you use the wrong one. Eh? Is that in right? Italy. Okay. They take everything uh, for uh, seriously, yeah. food especially. The Italian used to manage war as a football match and football matches as war. No? And, and carbonara is part of it. No? You can do a mess out of many things, but not about carbonara, food yeah. and pizza. No? Yeah. If in Italy you try to serve pizza with uh, pin apple, they're going to kill you. No? <laughs> Uh, I think in Italy they could forgive me for not winning, but uh, not uh, for making a wrong carbonara. But I live in Germany, luckily, so they will forgive me. Yes. Do you think the cooking, the cooking is a, it's kind of a little escape? I had to learn, uh, as you know, to cook basically overnight. <laughs> to cook, I have to be focused because it not came out uh, from me naturally. It's a good way for me in the evening to start to think what I have to cook. Uh, so it's a. Uh, moving my brain away from the daily business, yeah. no? And I enjoy a lot. I don't make a... I don't, do not prepare or cook for myself big plates. Uh, no. I have a, But uh, I get evolved. I do meatball now, I have a nice yeah, soups, uh, I have yeah. uh, vegetables, then I invent things that I try on myself. It's so easy to fall into the, the, the you know, the takeaway food, the kind of, oh, stay in the office. Uh, yeah. But to actually say, right, no, actually, I'm going to go home every night and I'm going to cook and I know what I'm going to cook. It's quite a nice discipline to have that, isn't it? You, know? uh, you have to be disciplined. Yeah. If you want to reach an objective, as long as you open a bit the gap yeah. to let your, uh, yeah. let me say, comfort zone enter in your fuck. Yeah. You know, it's also a brain uh, break because I have to think what yeah. I have at home, I have to buy that. Uh, and then like a good uh, housekeeper, I make the list of the things that I have to buy every evening. A man yes. to marry. Yeah. Well, come on, yeah. <laughs> It's an orderly engineer's brain Maybe making yes. the list. It is, because I can't do that. You know, I get to the end of the day and I think, yeah, I'd love a carbonara, but I haven't bought anything, so I'll get a takeaway. You know? That's it. But you need, to, you need to actually put some thought and some effort into it. I always think, uh, well, how many races I'm going to do, so how long I will stay at home, so I cook a bit more, so I will have it at yeah. Wednesday, oh, but we Thursday I have yeah. to... And then sometimes I prepare a bit more, so I put in the freezer because I know that when I come back on Monday after the race, I will be alone at home, so I have something to eat. I'm planning also my surviving, you know, you know my you surviving, to. not yeah, living. You, know, you have to, you absolutely have to, don't you? It's all part of the process. You get to an age where you actually start to feel that you've got to start looking after yourself. Uh, yeah. You know, we were talking about even something as simple as water. I, I have never drunk enough water in my life. But I'm at the point now where I know that the water feels good when I drink it, and it feels good, and your body feels better for it. Yeah, that's true. Because I've never been in that situation. I've always just not bothered. But then you start feeling it, your legs start feeling it, your head starts feeling it, and your waistline starts feeling it. And you've got to start thinking about looking after yeah, yourself. I organize with uh, my colleagues. I say, we have to go every day, one day of the week mm. uh, in bicycle, because we have lots of passionate together, but never together. Lots of passionate, but never together. So I manage it with discipline. No? In Outlook, I say every Tuesday, six o'clock, we go and have a ride. Fantastic. Three hours uh, riding bicycle and you really feel better after. Your brain is uh, better. No? And uh, it's friends that are together riding a bicycle, speaking about other things. No? Don't only think hey, when the engine will be ready, hey, when this car will be sure. finished, hey, and do if the parts will arrive in time. Hey. But you know, the only alternatives yes. that I found uh, to get older is to die younger. <laughs> <laughs>
So right, come on. Looking after ourselves starts. Yeah. So we have to have a big, reasonably big pan, and, and then we need a small flat one. Yes, a like frying that. pan. Shall I put some boiling water on? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's and these for you. are our pine stars. Do we want to taste them or not? Uh, later, later, when we are <laughs> drunk enough. Right, right, right. Ah, you know, we are right prepared. Hot. So, you know, <laughs> with your name, Tad. <laughs> this will take pride of place when I'm having my barbecues during the summer. Exactly. Yes. No? Tac, tac. That's quite tight. Right. Eastern move. Italia, Andrea. What? Yes. Okay. Okay, what about... Okay. Ah, uh, that one is perfect. This one is perfect? May I okay, take that's, it? Yes, you may take that one. Then, ah, it's perfect. Because you have the flame. Yes. Because uh, in Germany, everyone has the electric one. No, they're not good. With the electric, no it's mm, difficult. I wanted to say a bad word, but... Uh, you can't, can't control it. And you, I get the feeling you like to control everything. <laughs> if you can't control the flame, then that's no good. That is no good. Exactly. Right. Right. So, we put it here. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. Tuck. In this one, we have to put the water. I was of the understanding that you were the maestro. No, I, I, okay. let's the say The maestro like of carbonara. In life, you never have to be too sure of yourself. No, true. Not right. self-confident. See. Always back to double check. Yes. So I check uh, in the internet, I have to admit, some recipe. And then my, I have a friend of mine that had a restaurant okay. that called me and said, I have to tell you some tips. It's the perfect carbonara. So it's not yeah, just no. pancetta, it's no, got to be... No, pancetta, no. It's got to be cheek. This is a line now. You know what we might need? What? Um, a spoon? Yeah, Oh, uh, in this drawer here. Yes, in May the, I? Yes, in I, the drawer. I feel at home, you know. No, 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 that's so. good. Make yourself at home. Make yourself at home. Ah, exactly something okay. like that. There will be many people already start to say, Ah, the cubes are so small. Should have been chopped bigger, and this and that. Uh, for sure, everyone has his own uh, dimension. But uh, is that hot enough? Yeah, you, you take your time. To, it has to warm up slowly. That's a lot of ham in there. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Not ham, cheek. Cheek, sorry. But I didn't buy the cheapest. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't buy the most expensive. But I didn't buy the cheapest. But it's somewhere in between. Tell me about cooking in uh, you know, when you grew up. Did you have the the Typical Italian nonna who cooked in... Uh, it was my father hound that was uh, caring about me and my sister. Oh, okay. And I have to say that uh, she was the typical Italian lady that was cooking everything herself Fabulous. and preparing everything herself. Fabulous. She was making pasta, wow. uh, boil the butter, yeah. keep uh, for the winter. So I remember in, uh, in wow. August, make all these kind of things. Yeah. And at lunch, uh, she was asking me and my sister, which pasta you, you wish? So if I wish a spaghetti and my sister macaroni, mm. she mm. was preparing two wow. different dishes. But it's, uh, it's a lot. great thing in Italy, isn't it? The kind of the, you know, the, the sense of family and the family of, it kind of revolves around the kitchen. I remember the afternoon in winter, she was uh, uh, preparing the cake, the apple cake uh, for uh, merenda, you know, four o'clock. Uh, yeah. you have the, you... Like afternoon tea in English. Voila, voila, same, voila. same sort of thing. Kitchen is something that uh, you have to do. I don't want to say with love because it's too much for me but uh, with a bit of passion. Yes. You know, yes. and also if I cook only for myself, uh, I think that a certain moment of the day, I have to care a bit about myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I cook also at home like this. I, I cut the onions in slices because uh, mm -hmm. I like it. Uh, the salad I wash and then I cut also in small stripes uh, to present to myself. At the end, if I don't care my, about myself, who, who can care yes. about me, you know, uh, with the kind uh, 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 of life that I have, no? I'm already enjoying the smells are lovely. The lovely smoked, ah, yeah, yeah. smoked cheek smells absolutely lovely, doesn't it? Tell us about um, motorsport in particular cool. and how you got involved in motorsport. I was born in a family that had uh, passion in motorsport. It was all about rally, basically, you know, and there was this uh, scuderia See. team, you know, yeah. where the people uh, in those days, uh, they were used to buy the cars and uh, they met uh, in a palace where uh, I was born. Wow. And my mother already started to eat cars in those days, because as soon as I started to sleep, uh, these cars arrived, because uh, in those days you can run your rally uh. car in the normal days uh, with the uh, 
ex-house, make noise, I wake up. Uh, and uh, my father was part of this scuderia also right. in those days. He was going to make the service at the rally. And also the, the son of the hound that was caring about my sister and myself was really passionate. Right. And the first uh, discussion, but let me say, uh, competition that I heard was about my father. So it was the beat of fight in those days and discussion who was the better. So when I was uh, 12 years old, I decided that I would have been a, a, a racing car engineer. And uh, my, my parents were looking at me like, uh, you know, clapping my shoulder, yes, yes, and said, no, I will do it. Fine. If I tell you that I'm going to be it, I will be it. I don't see the problem, you know? <laughs> I tell you that I do it. <laughs> and I live, I breathe motorsport as yeah. a matter of my life. It's almost an obsession. Almost verging on an obsession. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> Not far off it really, is it, you know? Yeah, and uh, yeah. I really love my job, I really love my passion. Yeah. I did uh, a technical school uh, when mm -hmm. I was uh, a teen and I was working in Abarth uh, as a, a young goof aerodynamicist because yeah. uh, luckily Limone, Sergio, the chief engineer, the technical director, took me under his wing and I was asking him uh, as long as he was awake, then then he fall asleep, and I was driving <laughs> home uh, about uh, the days uh, of the Delta, of the S4, yeah, and yeah, we yeah. share experiences. Never be scared to share your experience with the young gun, uh, with the, yeah. the other people. Because if you, you know something, it's not because uh, you are God sent. The things that I always try to do with the people working with me is to share my knowledge, to mm. share what I know. Has that I become get... more difficult or less difficult as you climb the corporate ladder. The more you go up, the more you are alone. It, as long as I understand that mm. people is, listen to me because I'm in this position and not because I'm Andrea, mm. make me upset mm. a lot. Mm. And uh, so I say the things as they are. Maybe sometimes a bit rude, sometimes a bit <laughs> straight, but uh, who I am to tell bullshit to people that are there doing a job. It's, Maybe, it, yes. if, you're, if you're being practical about it, then you understand exactly what you're saying. It's, it's an economy. It's an economy of words. It's an economy of time. It's an efficiency. Yeah, you know? and it's, but Why mess around? Why mess around? I'm just going to tell you and then we move on. And I think that's what's actually quite refreshing about it. You know, in the past, you, you sit and you listen and people go on and on and on. And you walk away after 20 minutes and you think, what did they say? And you don't know what they said. Not everyone likes it, you know, and I think you, you know that. Um, well, you but know, I think they need to lighten up. I, I always to used to say, I'm not paid to be nice and Correct. kind, I'm paid to win. But it's also like the meeting in the company. You know, in the, in the company, I made many meetings. Now, when you have many things to manage, uh, the only way that I see is to call meetings. Uh, but it's not doesn't mean that I like to hear people speaking. But they say, 15 minutes, the pivotal person that I have to decide things, pam, 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 decide, go, enjoy your day, and move and other things. And when I meet with supplier, the worst thing that happened, but this is quite always like that, everyone knows me from years, and the, just the new one is shocked. They came, new suppliers, ah, I'd like to introduce the company. And then I say it once, <laughs> you know, the most precious things that I have is my time. If you are here, it's because I know you. So you don't have to tell me in PowerPoints that you are most beautiful, please, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I know, plus and minus of you, because I studied you before to invite you here. Mm -hmm. I need this, this, and that, pam, 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 45 minutes, finish. And then normally I say, you know, this is the first and last time that we meet each other. Because if, if we have to meet again in the future, something will be wrong. The most it's, important thing that we have calling is time. And if you want to do a project, uh, saving the money, saving the time, you have to go on the spot. You don't have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I get that. There's too much bullshit around. <laughs> too much bullshit. When you retire, when you've achieved everything you want to do in the world of motorsport, do you think when you're sitting on Lake Como, a nice little glass of wine, you've got your little cabin there overlooking the lake, Maybe there's a book to be written. No. I'm more the kind of uh, guy that uh, used to say, forget me. Mm. I, I really love uh, my old boss, Sergio Limon, you know, that uh, when he retired, he retired. He was not the guy that yeah. get retired and became consultant here yeah. and went there, Just so you him. never get yeah. rid of them. No? Yeah. He understood yeah. that uh, his time was there. And he likes it. And also the, the last time that we were together, I think he's one of the most clever mm. men I, left, I met in my life. He understand when it was the moment to pass by. I suppose it's driven by this need to win, by this need to succeed. 
you know, and you will do whatever more or less is required. Yeah. And you'll take those decisions. You... I think that I have to say thank you from to my parents for that, no? Because yeah. they told from me when I was a child to to take the decision, no? And uh, to take the responsibility, responsibility of the decisions that uh, mm. we then took. It. Yeah. Move, decide and go ahead, eh? take yeah. your own responsibility. Yeah. So sometimes when drivers tell me, ah, if I win, fucking hell, I'm paying you to win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying you to go around and waste my tire. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. So why I have to, I tell you, bravo, thank you, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? You give them a big hug, but yeah. Big hug. Big, big hug if they win. And this yeah. is the, the, the things that always uh, surprise me a bit. But I, I have to make peace with this way of uh, contract driving. That, uh, you know, they have certain expectations, they have certain demands, and you, you have to be harder than they are to deal with them, I suppose. Uh, the motorsport uh, is so a self-referential world uh, yeah. that yeah. sometimes it's good to step out yeah. and look the f watch the things from far. So do we have to wait for this to boil now? Yeah. And then the spaghetti, we'll the more hungry. you appreciate the way things are done, the more you will taste them. Well, no, I need something like to use a pass. Okay, listen, I, I use this one. May I? Yes, anything. Then we put uh, half a kilogram, gentlemen, and uh, one, two, three, four, we have to finish the carbonara. Okay. 125 grams each. I have to remember things because uh, uh, I know my friends, if I make some mistakes, uh, they will let me pay back it uh, all my re the rest of my life. Yes. If you have a small dish, yes. I prepare the eggs. Yes, what would you like, a bowl? No, yeah, because I, I have to try to remove the things now. Ah, the uh, yolks from the... Mamma mia, seems that I'm getting good. Mom, we have some extra eggs if you make any mistakes. No, 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 I, I don't waste nothing. I just have to be proper. The red, uh, voila. As well. And one complete. Nice. That is maple smoked salmon, which is really nice, and Scottish prawns. By the way, in Scotland, I, I spent one all. of the nicest holidays of my life traveling there. Those look pretty good. Yeah, now I just need this one to slowly. It's slow cooking and lots of drinking. I think I yeah, think the slow cooking but you is know, to facilitate in Italy, the wine. There is a consortium that is called slow food. Right. Normally, these one 10, are 11. proper one, and it's about ten, uh, eleven. Okay, I'll keep a little eye on that. That's um. Now listen, uh, you've stirred that a lot. A yeah. lot. You've kept stirring. I never stir my pasta. But uh, it's why I'm here. Right. So you still, but you haven't tasted it yet. But I've You're seen the, the way the, it's, uh, yeah. it's uh, let me say, bandy and flowing, yeah. that uh, maybe that's it. But uh, that's I was going to ask you a fork, so I tried see, to taste see, one. See, see, a fork just behind you. What I'm going to get is, uh, let's grab a fork from here. Et voilà, monsieur. And lots of kids' stuff, obviously. But ah, but uh, that's I it love is. it. You know, it's, it's a I, functional you, kids' kitchen. I this. tell you, at dinner, I have a water in a plastic cap of Coca-Cola. Oh. that I think uh, it's a Samia salt and I bring with me every time. There is people that it always tell me why I drink water mm. there, but you know. Coca-Cola? Yeah. You one day will regret it. One day we will, because it's not going to go on forever, this. You know, at it's some true. point it will stop. At some point it's we won't we be have traveling to enjoy around. every moment uh, that we have. Also in the bad moment we have to take over and uh, mm. appreciate and get it better. Now, there is a nice sentence that maybe is too much philosophical, but... Uh, yeah, you, you, let, you win or you learn. Yeah, no, it's an interesting one. It's important one, to it? motivate my people, we cannot mm -hmm. say, but uh, I, I know honestly, and this is just parenthesis, that uh, I ask it a lot to my people this year. And I try to pay, pass to my people this determination, and I ask them a lot. Uh, we did more events, uh, we needed to, we knew that we had to catch up, and we played catch up, and uh, we, we are still uh, working hard to improve. I know that. Uh, but uh, the good things that I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do, is to share to everyone the motivation and the explanation. So I'm the kind of guy that after the races in the company, I try to make a, a meeting with every everyone, finance, HR, everyone to explain what has happened, why we have to do this, why we have to do that. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. Mm. So it's got, it's got to have a little bit of bite, hasn't it? A little bit of crunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are quiet. We're not going to use pasta bowls, we're going to use plates. Sorry. Sorry, Andrew. The, the crackle. Oh. 
So I hope people will appreciate what I'm doing. So not many people in Italy will wait for me at the airport uh, ready to kill me, calling police, uh, you know, this. Well, just put a hat on and no one will recognize you. You'll be fine. One, two, three. Hoppala. Oh, I where my scissors are. Mm -hmm. Then we put... Uh, so you don't want it to, to become scrambled eggs? That no, no, no. It's in no, danger no, of becoming no, no. bacon and eggs. It's why we have to do fast. Put, 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 in, in the, there. In there. Okay. Here we go. All of it? Good. Oui. Et Et voilà. voilà. That pasta is perfect. Perfect. Tremendous in the good... Uh, <laughs> yes. Tremendous in the best sort of way. Now it's just the time that will tell. Come on then. Let's go and see. Allez, 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 allez. Oh, here we go then. Yum. Now I've got some pepper for mine, Andrea. Oh, perfect. So I, I put some... You, you, you're the chef. You just put what you think is needed on it. Now, this is my creation from earlier on. Is it's it, called a like caprese in Italian. Is it, is, it, is it appropriate for this kind of pasta? Uh, from, both from Italy, okay. so it's more than good. Okay, here we go. Well, you want to see what I've got for pudding, for desserts. You want to see. Because you know we were supposed to have David Evans with us this evening. Uh, but he was supposed to prepare it. Yeah, correct. <laughs> so I prepared one from the supermarket. It's good. <laughs> I will love it. Ciao, David. Uh -huh. We miss you. <laughs> I am a fan of rallying and I've, you know, no media training, nothing like that. With the job that I used to do in the radio, I used to try and bring all the people at home to the stage end with me. So if they're sitting at home, wherever it might be in Argentina, in Australia, wherever, you would try and bring them to the stage end and try and allow them to be part of it with the atmosphere and all the rest. And it's the same with the kitchen table. You just think, well, you know, these people are interested in rallying. They don't get the chance to go. Let them feel part of it and talk to them as if they're friends. And that's kind of what I try to do. But it, I, I love it because uh, I normally, I have to admit, uh, I watch uh, kitchen table from my kitchen when I have dinner. <laughs> right. So you, you are cooked? Yeah, <laughs> I cook uh, also for myself, as I told you. Know, and, uh, and then I have you on my tablet that you speak to me and uh, you explain what has happened. Sometimes I think you are right. Sometimes you make me laughing in the way you put the passion in your mm. sentences. And uh, sometimes I take note. I say, I have to say that to, to Colin. Then, uh, you know, the things are passing by and yeah, I yeah, always yeah. forget. But I forget to, to say things to so many people. Mm. So it's not, nothing against mm. you. You always like, you know, you, you are very straight talking. You are very honest. And you say what you have to say. And you say it, you know, from your heart and you say it because it, something needs to be said. And I kind of try to be the same. But my goodness me, some drivers get quite upset. You know, I don't have an agenda. I don't, you know, I love them all. And I think they're all, they're all, you know, superstars and gods to me. But you know what, if someone's done something wrong, if someone has, or, or if someone's underperforming, I think we would be doing a disservice to the fans if we just ignored it and we just glossed over it. Yeah, but uh, Ralph's a, a special breed, you yeah, know, because yeah, uh, yeah. uh, I remember uh, speaking about my old uh, chief, uh, Sergio Limone, that uh, once I remember uh, coming back after an event on uh, Monday morning, having a coffee together, I was maybe lament a bit, I say, ah, oh, this and that. Uh, and then, uh, as he was using to do, he let me speak a bit and then stopped me and with a, a hand of my arm told mm -hmm. me, Andrea, but if they were normal, do you really think that they would drive a, a car designed by Haas 180 kilometers downhill between trees and rocks <laughs> and cliffs? <laughs> and that was a, you know, a, a brain opening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you the respect yeah. to, to uh -huh. them is uh, getting bigger and bigger. And also I accept and I, I really appreciate now that sometimes they come back to the service park with lots of adrenaline uh, overreacting yeah, to things yeah. and I always try to come down uh, to let them uh, explain their uh, feeling uh, I always say I'm the shelter of everyone so come to me yeah. put in doubt uh, whatever is possible tell bad words to me I I'm really like a sponge, take it, because I think you need, no? Uh, yeah. When uh, they have a so big moment, sometimes they have to, ah! And they say, I'm the one. Come to me, tell everything, then uh, let's breathe together, and mm -hmm. let's move ahead, and let's uh, 
go ahead. Because it's the best thing if you really, in my opinion, wants to create a team and the gelling things together. Mm -hmm. They have to know that you are the one at whom they can say everything mm -hmm. and they know that you can accept and move together and improve. Then there is a time to time, the moment and the place where to, to speak open in each other. No? And I really think that the ones that you have this relationship with your guys open, mm -hmm. straight speaking, mm -hmm. They always say, you know, as I say, you no. Know, sometimes in the media lounge, the truth makes us free. Yeah, you know, if you're holding on to things, you know, you feel restricted. Yeah, you know, but you do have to say what you think. It's what I always say during but, the media lounge, you no, know, with yeah, everyone, yeah, yeah, as yeah. you say. Yeah. I always say the truth. Maybe sometimes a bit too straight, but it's because my English is not so good. No, no, you. So I, I have to I, no, use I, it. No, I, can I tell you something, Andrea? Can I tell you something? I think you play on that a little. <laughs> I think you play on that because you you have a better you have a better understanding and use of English language than a lot of people. That a lot of you understand the words, you understand the phrases. I think occasionally you're using that as a bit of an excuse, and to get you know, <laughs> I really do, I really do because your your English is fantastic and you know exactly what you are saying. And I and 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 long may that continue because I honestly think that is why so many people have such respect for you. Because you do, you know, you speak openly and you speak well and you speak honestly and you speak with passion. Uh, and anyone that speaks with passion, anyone, because, you know, it's dead easy, it's easy to get the wrong idea about why people do things in life. Do you know what I mean? You know, because it's, it's easy to be cynical about why people do things. Yeah. You know, they're doing it because, you know, they want to they look good in front of the bosses. They're doing it because they want to make money. They're doing it because they want to make him look bad. We know why you are doing it. You are doing it because you love it and because you want to win. And, that's what, and, and that is dead straightforward. And that's, that's the truth. And that is what sets you free, as you say. The truth is you have a very clear goal, a very clear outlook, a very clear objective. And, and everyone understands that. And not everyone will agree with the way you go about it. But hey, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, not, it's not, they're not the ones making the decisions. You're the one making the decisions. You so. know, as I said before, when, the more you go, let me use the word hop, no? And uh, yeah. the more you get more responsibilities, uh, the more you are alone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Everyone is ready to jump on the winning car. Mm. But uh, uh, there yeah. are moments in and life. Everyone's will, uh, and everyone's ready to kick the losing boss. Ah, for sure. To kick for them sure. and blame for the sure. losing boss. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when uh, you are there, you have to take the decision, you have to give, uh, mm. to, to, to give directions. And uh, I always say that I, I really think about it and I show to everyone, I'm the shelter of my people. If uh, we do things well, we are doing things well. If we made a mistake, I made a mistake. I think that if you put too much pressure on your people, I have to put pressure on my people because uh, we have to release. But if you put too much, then they are scared to do things because if you do things, you can make mistakes. What I find really interesting, though, is that you have put pressure on, on certain people. So we talk just about drivers. You have put pressure on drivers, and they have responded to it. They have responded to it in a remarkably positive way. And that's a gamble. That's a huge gamble, because you, know, you put pressure on drivers, and, you, and you, you tell them exactly what's happening. You tell them where they're at. You tell them what you expect from them. You tell them that maybe they're not delivering and you tell them, therefore, they're going to miss a rally, that can quite easily go the wrong way if you don't handle that properly. But what, what I no. find quite remarkable with some difficult, or on the face of it, difficult decisions that you've made this year is that they've all worked. If you look at Andreas Mikkelsen, you know, Andreas Mikkelsen was, I think, that close to losing it. Losing everything, losing his confidence, losing his ability, losing his belief, losing everything. And you... Took him, and I don't know what you said to him, but what we do know is that you, you, you let him sit aside for a rally or two, and look what you're getting in return from him now. He but what always. a gamble, though! What a gamble! But I'm a, I'm a lucky guy. I have to say that, honestly, at the end of the day, because uh, I'm lucky because I was always in the good uh, place, uh, in the good moment. That is something that I have to recognize to myself, so I'm a lucky guy. I always say the day that the... The luckiness will uh, send me the bill. I don't know if I will have enough money to pay for it, no? So I hope it will <laughs> come very late. And uh, say that, I have to say that, uh, first of all, the decisions that I took are not always uh, just driven by myself. I have working with people yeah, that are uh, giving uh, advices, 
with mm -hmm. whom I share opinions. Mm -hmm. I have to say Alain Penas is the guy that I work in more closely managing the company WRC. He's always very close to me mm -hmm. and he always gives me advice. Uh, and I have to recognize that uh, if Brin was in uh, Finland, it's because he suggested me the name. Mm -hmm. And I'm a bit digital with my people. Either I trust or I not trust. Mm. This is my limit sometimes. Mm. But uh, you cannot be half is that, is that your first instinct? Your first instinct is, do I trust or don't I trust? Yeah. And then you will look more. And, and if then, you don't uh, trust, then you dismiss it. Yeah, because uh, yeah. which is the point mm. to try to win a championship with someone working mm. with you in whom mm. you don't trust. Because mm. it means that uh, to win, you have to be like this in taking mm. decision. And if someone tells you right, you have to go right. Because if you think too much mm. about it, you are losing time. Mm. Yeah. And also, I'm not doing someone else's job. Because if I'm mm. paying someone to do his job, I have to, 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 to be confident in him. But the, the, other, the other thing that's very obvious about your decision making is really how quick it is. You don't, you don't really waste any time thinking about it and therefore allow the situation to get any oh, worse. No. You, make, you make decisions and you make them quickly. Um, and not everyone can do that because again, I suppose it maybe comes down to having belief in your own decision-making process. You, you know that you're making decisions based on the right criteria. Therefore, why, why mess around? Why wait? There, that's what I believe. Let's do it. But, but also because I trust looks. my people. That's how it looks. Because uh, if my people uh, say something, I, I get the feeling, I think uh, two seconds and mm. I take the decision. Mm. And sometimes we share some opinion, da -da -da, let's do, okay. The evident, uh, say name and surname, Portugal. Mm. We, we saw immediately that it was the moment to let them uh, start behind. It took a few seconds okay. to understand it. But if you work with people that understand each other, pam, pam, do, call and go. Yeah. It's not, ah, then what will happen? You know if you do your job in the proper way and you have the experience, that these the things that has to be done. Yeah. Uh, you well, don't but, have to but, think what they may think. What yeah, but not everyone think. thinks that way. And that's why, that's why not everyone, I suppose, has been successful in the role that you're in in the past. Because maybe there has been a little bit of indecision, a little bit of consideration for other factors that shouldn't have been considered. You know, you're, you're, it looks as if your objective is clear and your, your motivation is clear. If you have a clear target, yeah. you have yeah. only one way yeah. to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Portugal was difficult for you though, wasn't it? It was difficult and I, I felt a wee bit sorry for you because you, you made decisions and everyone mm. knew the decisions you made. But It's it, much more difficult to manage uh, a Miss Wing. It's not difficult because yeah. at the end I have to tell to professional <laughs> people yeah. to do something that uh, they are paid to do. Yeah. They are paid to work for Hyundai. Yeah. And the needs of Hyundai in this moment was that... Yeah. I, but, but then, I, but then it, wasn't, it wasn't people who worked for Hyundai that made the trouble for you at the end of the day. But what, what I loved, what was the next rally? Was the next one Sardinia? Mm. In the, the Meet the Cruise on the Wednesday evening or the Meet the Team, whatever they call I, it. I read days. your article. It was about so that. funny. You just sat there. You sat there. And nobody quite knew. Nobody quite knew how to approach you because... I, you know, I've said this before, when, when I first saw you, I thought, my God, that's a scary looking bloke. Because <laughs> it, it was in the Hyundai offices and you were sat in the corner. And I think you'd just taken on the role yeah. of the R5 boss. And you just have a presence about you, which, which you know, and you look scary. And I thought, oh, geez, it'd be difficult to work for him because he looks really scary. Well, you had that scary look on your face again in Sardinia. You sat there at the table. And people were talking to your drivers and people were talking to other people. But no one wanted to talk to you because no one was brave enough. And then one journalist, I can't remember who it was. I think it was David. David, one journalist came across and it was like the floodgates had opened. <laughs> they all <laughs> descended upon you. <laughs> they, they split the sea. But, but it was magic. The way you dealt with it was absolutely magic. You didn't get wound up. You didn't get excited. Uh, you didn't fall into any of the traps because some of these journalists can be a little bit clever in the way that they ask questions. They want you to say things. They want to put words in your mouth. Yeah. And this is where my bad English helps me. Yeah, that's, that's where you use it. That's where you use it. But it was, it, for me, it was just, I sat back and watched it and thought, for me, it was theatre. It was theatre to watch it. It was, it was how to deal with the press pack and how to win them round. It was, um, it was quite a moment. I'm sure it wasn't for you, but it was quite a moment for me to watch.
But uh, it was all based on the respect that I have with the people working there, no? And uh, I tried to manage uh, the answers yeah. in the most uh, fair way without uh, joke with people, because no one deserves to be joked. Because everyone is their work, yeah. everyone yeah. is playing their role. No, of course. It's a bit like uh, the Toyota thing uh, about the wing, that everyone was making uh, questions, everyone was making uh, out uh, some polemics out of it. No? And I have to say that, uh, honestly speaking, I have to say something uh, that I already say. Never like this year, I'm working very well with FIA. Mm. From when Yves uh, and Jerome Sell and others, and uh, also Bruno Femen, but already before Gilles Simone are coming there, Honestly, I'm working much better than in the past. Oh. For me, it was always a bit of fight. Everyone knows me and yeah. FIA, we were always yeah. fighting. Because yeah. yeah. maybe yeah. I was picking too much straight, no? And, um, and also, because in my role, I had always to stretch a bit the rules. And mm -hmm. it's a matter of understanding and uh, motor interpretation sport. is motorsport. Motor and so, uh, I think we were fairly playing between manufacturer, I tried to deal with everyone. Sometimes I think I, I was I had the feeling a bit to be the union <laughs> representative, but maybe right. it's too much. Yeah. But try to make uh, everyone happy about it. Because uh, the first thing that I have to say is that we are four manufacturers in WRC. Yeah. We are living a transition moment that is very, very, very tricky. No? Yeah. And uh, yeah. we have to work uh, closely together behind the scene to support yeah. WRC, to work with yeah. FIA, to make yeah. everything fine. And so I think that also with the, with the media, with the press, I don't want to say that everyone has to make uh, pink stories out of it. No, yeah. no one is stupid to, to, yeah. to, to create this. But sometimes we, we have to make uh, emphasis on the nice story or also these things could be also be described as a, a mistake that may happen. Yeah that has been sorted by the good cooperation between the manufacturer mm. and the FIA. Mm -hmm. And we found a proper way, a proper path, and so on. So. Mm. This is the good way to describe it mm. and to make everyone happy and everyone good out of it. Because we mm. don't need to finger point no one. Mm -hmm. Instead, is... everyone was trying to, yeah. ah, but this and that and that. Yeah. Gentlemen, what is the point to spit in the plate where we are having dinner? Mm. Mm. Once that we've created polemics and we create tension and so on, so for sure it will arise to the boards and someone will question why we are spending millions of euros in a place where there are fights and it's not clear, the rules and this and that. Let's look uh, a bit ahead. Mm. Let's watch at the moon, not at the, the, the finger that is pointing the moon. This is another great saying. It is interesting because I think I'm sorry for my English again. No, no, it's magic. <laughs> I think I think it's interesting that with, with the FIA, and, and you're you're right to say it's 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 a critical time for the championship. You know, because yeah. as I see it, we get these rules right, we go in the right direction, and the WRC is set for a bright future. Because the WRC, when we go from hybrid to whatever the next type of propulsion system might be, it could be electric, it could be something else. We don't know yet. We yeah. really don't know yet. But the WRC is the perfect proving ground for manufacturers. Yeah. It is the perfect, perfect proving ground. If we have the right rules and regulations, we will have manufacturers knocking our door down to join the championship. Yeah. If we get it wrong, like they did in Rallycross, we're finished. We're finished. So if, if there was a time when everyone had to pull together and show solidarity and show some sort of consent, and that, that includes that's all the stakeholders, it's now. It's now, there is no time, there's no yep. time for dissent now, because we have to get these regulations right, and if we get them right, rallying is set for the brightest of bright futures. We, you know, we get we, it wrong and we're dead. Yeah, we cannot afford, in my opinion, that I know one, but to go back to the time that there were only two manufacturers and privateers and this and that and so on. But that on, won't so happen if we get the regulations right. That we, will we not no happen. We have no more money to support it. Yeah, yeah. We have no more money to support mm. the privateers and this and that. Uh, mm. cause, uh, we are really walking on uh, on the verge of a blade uh, with a high cliff aside. So we have to work all together, yeah. hand in hand, and say, okay, the target yeah. is this one. Again, a target, and we have to reach it um, all together. No? Yeah. And it's, sure. it's, it's a massively bright target that is saying, you know, you come here and the riches are waiting for you. Yeah. You know, yeah, because yeah. it is. It, it is. It's... it's, it's 
you're, for me, it's exciting, but we have to get it right. And do you know what? For, for me, Andre, I don't know if you find this, but what I find, I find that, like, see yourself, the other team bosses, the FIA, they get that. Do you know the people who don't get that? And it's, for me, it's really sad. It's the fans. The fans are, the fans are for me, uh, the biggest detractors are the biggest they're making the most noise about electric saying oh if we go electric i'll not be there well, watching it maybe how, how do we win them over how do we how do we share our vision you know with I, the fans i tell you something that i said uh, to, to david evans once no that uh, to david evans who should be here and is it should be sitting should be here, sitting here us. joining this conversation but uh, his soul is dessert. with us he should, he should be cooking he should be cooking dessert right now in this moment he when should you be, and me yeah, are enjoying wine exactly he should here. be there cooking but his soul is with us um stood up by david evans you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> maybe let me say it's us that uh, have to explain better to the fans. That's my point. How do we explain uh, to you know, if everyone is not uh, uh, favorable of it, uh, means that we didn't explain them in the proper way. Yeah. No. Yeah. Then of course, every time you will have uh, someone that is yeah. against everything. No, because mm. you you cannot have uh, everyone always happy about what you are doing. But it's called majority, and it's called could go more sense. And there's someone just mm. don't have the picture that we have. But mm trying to share the most is possible to everyone, allow them to understand the things, because we have to tell them what hybrid means, that is not electrification, that is on the road uh, sections, uh, passing through villages mm -hmm. where there are a mother and father <coughs> and a grandfather watching the cars and maybe no one is happy to see the, mm -hmm. the, the big noises thing pass by, because the, the times are changing. Mm -hmm. Not long ago, I was seeing a TV program about in, in, in Italy, I guess, about the old TV program on the 70s. There were a talk show with people smoking, smoking. ashtrays, drinking. and uh, drinking, and so <laughs> and so. No? In yeah. those days, it yeah. was good. Yeah. It was a chat. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, you cannot do it. No. So either you leave the times that you are living, yeah. Or you are fighting with them. Yeah. But when you fight your time, mm, high percentage, mm. I, I, I tell you, you will die. Yeah. So you better marry the time that you are living. Yeah. Yeah. Because you cannot fight every time. No? No. So the time that we are living is that most of the people do not like a noisy car pass by in villages and so on. We are electric. Yeah. We pass by with no noise. We bring the, the sponsor around. We try to match the request of the people. Mm. It's a changing world, isn't it? It's a changing world, changing expectations. It's changing. Uh, you know, the environment changes. You know, the, the, you look at you look at what's going on just now, and, and you look at the, the environmental protests. And, For sure. You know, and, and our sport becomes, in its current format, becomes less and less justifiable. You know, um, which is which is why we have to, as you say, make these changes, and we have to move forward and no i think it's bright i think it's exciting i think your know, manufacturers like hyundai um clearly understand the way things are going and, and clearly see that rallying has that ability yeah. to to lead to lead their uh you know their innovation in in terms of electrification or whatever it might be i don't think it's going to no, be electric. But I, I, don't electric. I don't know i don't but, know uh, i'm not you're the engineer i'm not but I don't, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be electric. i think it's a, something more related to the future teller than engineers now no because oh. if you put the engineers uh, the, the engineering things you might start to question if you have really the electricity power to, to fill all the batteries that we are going uh, yeah. to Can have we around. build all the batteries if we got Do enough we have, battery components? You have not. Both yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. you have only if you have nuclear power plant. But then again, uh, you know, it's the dog chasing his <coughs> tail. So I'm told that in 20 years, <coughs> this watch size could be a little nuclear power plant. Genuinely, genuinely, we could be we could be carrying around a nuclear power plant on effectively your effectively the technology potentially is there that would be interesting wouldn't it but but you know 20 years ago 1999 now, i remember you would well. have thought 19, that 99 uh, 99 right. okay yeah would you have thought that you could have a buy a flight yeah. ticket uh, with your mobile phone and uh, check in and show it at uh, the check-in control and pass by me no of course not. maybe my fantasy is not big enough but is the the, the nice things uh, of our life, now that uh, things are evolving. So, 
we have just to, to, to marry a bit. Maybe we can say, ah, good old days uh, when uh, you have to queue and to go to buy the flight ticket to the shop, uh, yeah. to the travel agency. Remember mm -hmm. the tickets, you have three pages of the huh? you remember, yeah. you know. You so have uh, you have yeah. just to 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 to, to yeah. be adapted to your yeah. to your time and uh, accept this, no? So, Andrea, I have to say, it's been an absolute joy having you at the kitchen, not at the kitchen table, in the kitchen itself. But I and told you when <coughs> I watch you during my evening, mm. having dinner myself, you at the kitchen, I always envy your kitchen because it's my dream one day to have a home, a house. With a kitchen like that, it was it's, a, it's, that's very kind of you. It's, it's no, a, no, but it's, it's, it's true. A you know me. It's a with my poor English, I say what I think. <laughs> poor English. I'm never going to believe that again. Your English isn't poor. Your English is fantastic. But it's a functional kitchen. It's a kitchen where kids, you can see, look, because you were mentioning earlier about the um, the stuff on the uh, the fridge. Yeah. So those were uh, during the Volkswagen days, which you were around during the Volkswagen days, but you were in a different job, weren't you? You yeah. were in the R5, and that was something they loved. Um, Volkswagen would have fridge magnets from every round of the championship. Really? The first year, they were really good, nice big fridge magnets. Second year, they got quite small, <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah, I don't think I've quite got the full set, or the kids have got the full set, but yeah. I you know, would love to make it as well. I have to speak with my, our marketing people. Well, I, the lady that I said, spoke before, yeah. if she will not bite me and now mm -hmm. that I spoke If she about, forgives you. For, yeah. If she forgives me. Yeah. No, and listen, they, they, from from my kids' point of view, they love it, and whenever their friends come round, they, they love to uh, yeah, explain very, to them very, what it's all about. But it's um, you know, I always buy these magnets where I go somewhere yeah. to give to some friends. My mom is uh, collecting it, so when I remember, I bring to her and things like that. I love them. I love them. Yeah. Uh, but listen, Andrea, thank you very much. It's been an no, absolute joy. It's been a you. joy to have you. I hope the pasta to... was good enough uh, to. Let me say, justify my presence here. Uh, the pasta was good, but you know what was better than the pasta? It was the preparation. Oh, the time okay. and the love and the effort that went into the preparation. It was wonderful. It was just really nice just to have you here just talking at the table. Andrea Adamo. Thank you, my friends. It's been an absolute joy. Me. Thank you. Thank I think you. we have to have a hug because you, know, ah, for sure. you, you don't do... You don't, you don't do... Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you.